Hey guys, Mama Bear here, and we are back, and let's go ahead and get this started. So, we just helped two brothers last week with their father's burial. My dear... I was hoping go. to have the chance to thank you for all you've done. What did you have in mind? Poet may be my day job, but there's more to me than that. I am also a very talented cook. Allow me to make you a fabulous meal. I'd like that. Great. There's just one thing. I'll need a little help hunting down some ingredients. Literally. You're treating me, you said? After all we've been through together. Surely you can agree that I'm a lover, not a fighter. For how many bandits I've killed for you? It's pretty safe to say you're not a fighter. I have to compensate somehow. What do you need me to hunt? <laughs> this dish calls for venison. Any of the beasts wandering nearby should do. Meet me at the cliffs near the Ipernistra camp once you find some. Okay. We gotta go get some deer meat. You know what? Before we do that, let's go over here. Track that. Because this is the other brother over here. Boat's not meant for deep water. Cassandra, there you are. Am I interrupting? This is where I used to practice sparring with my father. After he retired to the fishing business, he lost interest. But I kept up the practice on my own. Sparring without a partner isn't a real challenge. Are you trying to goad me into a sparring match, mercenary? I might be interested in some friendly competition. I... don't think that's a good idea. Are you scared, Athenian? I just... fine. Let's spar. Let's see what you've got. I'm just getting started. Filthy Spartans! Timothus, are you okay? I'm a mercenary. Keep up! Please, you're the one slowing down. You fought well, Athenian. Timothus? Timothus, what are you doing? I... no. Stop. Stop! No! No! Stay back! Get away from me! I'm not going to hurt you. Let don't me... you get it? I might hurt you if you don't stay away. You're not going to hurt me, Timotheus. You don't... You don't know that. I don't know if I could stop myself right now. I know you're stronger than whatever this is. When I get like this... If I lose control for even a second, the terrible things I see myself doing... Timotheus... No, no, no! Stop! Stop! Just breathe. I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank you. You're safe, Timotheus. I promise. I feel... better. Thank you. Would you mind staying with me for a moment? Whatever you need. Father handled coming back from the war so much better than I did. 
Any loud noise or unexpected hand on my shoulder and my heart burst from my chest. But he never flinched. Did you tell him? I couldn't bear to tell father the reason I was discharged, let alone this. I wanted to make him proud. Why were you discharged? I... lost control in the battle and killed one of my comrades. My commander and I were close, so he discharged me with mania instead of charging me with treason. When I returned from the war, father never asked why. I don't know if he suspected or... Maybe he was hiding his struggles the way you hid yours. Finding out father lied about his armor, not to mention his debts, has left me wondering if there aren't other things he kept hidden. But even so, he was strong enough to hide it from me while he lived. I can't even hide it from you now. War isn't easy, Timotheus. Everyone comes back with wounds that never heal. Physical scars That's fade. True. I'm not sure the ones I have ever will. It's going to be all right, Timotheus. For the first time, I think it might be. Okay. Twenty eight fifty. Well, twenty eight five hundred. Twenty eight thousand five hundred. I don't know why I said fifty thousand. <laughs> I just need to get across, that's all. Okay, so now I need to go over here. I didn't mean to do that, I was trying to... There we go. 
Now just straight across. I only need two deer meat. And that's it. Perfect hunter. This should be plenty of meat for Leginos' dinner. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Icarus, for helping me with that. I appreciate it so much. Whoops, I almost missed that. <laughs> That's always so weird to me when that happens. You're running through the trees and then whoop, and then it changes your direction. There's another tree up ahead, yeah. Now after this, then it should be fully done. Beautiful view. It certainly is. Did you manage to hunt down our food? Here's the meat. Perfect. I'll get started. Please, make yourself comfortable. <laughs> All right. That was delicious. I told you I could cook. Was the food worth it? A few deer are no match for a mighty Mistios. I wish I had your skill. And confidence. Fighter or not, I'm sure it takes a lot to be a renowned poet in Athens. I... Uh, may have exaggerated my accomplishments as a poet a bit earlier. <laughs> the truth is... Now, Mommy I'm Bear here does do poet. But our poems. Drachmi in Athens. Why lie to your brother about this, or to me? Timotheus has always been my father's son. In every way. They both fought for Athens, they both worked in the family business. Timotheos's path was never for me, so I left for Athens to strike out on my own. You're afraid of what he'll think. He'll say it was irresponsible of me to leave in the first place. And he's right. I don't have any Rachmi, or means to earn it. If poetry really is your passion, then you should keep at it. If you really think so. You never answered my question, though. Why lie to me about your career? Isn't it obvious? I didn't want to appear a failure to you. From the moment I met you, I knew you were amazing. Aw, that's sweet talker. I'm just someone who's had to fight every day of my life. Still, you saved my life, Cassandra. I'll never forget that. Well, I'm glad I did. This has been nice, Likinos. It really has. I should check in on Timotheus and Lichinos at their father's house. There we go. And we're not far from the house, so we can go and do that really quickly before moving forward with the other mission.
<laughs> I don't know why she thought it was a lot further down than that, so she did the whole wah -ha! What's happened here? This looks like one of the bandits that killed Diocles. Whoever did this didn't take anything. Rikinos, are you all right? They took him. The bandits who killed my father took Timotheus. Where did they go? To the ruins of Mikine. Please, you have to help him. Okay. Ah. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, there we go. That's where I need to go. That is far. It could be further. much further. I thought I was almost done. I think this will be the last one, but I still have to get him and get back. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Up, 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 up. Up we must go. We are almost there. Yeah, cause this is a big, massive place. Eat this sword. Better yet, eat the flaming sword. There we go. Yay. 
Yeah, you're not gonna get me again with an arrow. There we go. Timotheus, we have to get out of here. Timotheus? Die, Spartan dogs! You leave ferrymen with you! Okay. Wait, where did he go? Oh, he went upstairs. Spartan dogs, where are they hiding? You're safe, Timotheus. I promise. Cassandra? It's me. You're all right now. Timotheus! You're safe! You saved us once again, mercenary. In more ways than one. The famed Eagle Bearer hasn't saved you just yet. It's nice to finally meet the Oclis' boys. And you must be the man responsible for my father's death. Responsible? Your father was one of my best smugglers before he screwed me over. Our father would never work for you. He had no choice. Dear the Oclis liked to gamble. With my support, he could place bad bets all day long and keep that lovely home of yours. Something tells me your support came with strings attached. Hardly. The Oclis and I were partners for years before I mm. killed him. Unfortunately, a man who gambles with another man's drachmi stops being a gambler and turns into a thief. You got your payment in the Oclis's blood. What do you want with Likinos and Timotheus? The Oclis may be dead, but I haven't received my drachmi yet. You expect me to pay? One way or another. Yes. Here, does this cover the debt? It does. Pleasure doing business with you. You didn't have to do that. You've both been through enough. It was time to end this. Thank you for saving me, Cassandra. There's something I've been meaning to tell you. I need to tell Cassandra something too. When I'm with you, the darkness inside me fades away. I didn't think I'd feel happiness like this again. I'm the only reason you even know each other. The <laughs> fates have spoken. The gods brought us together. I feel it in the fiber of my soul. I just like you as friends. Both of you. I... See, if that's how you really feel. Well, thank you again for saving me and for everything. Goodbye, I guess. <laughs> and I earned a trophy, a brother's seduction. <laughs> Thirty-five thousand six hundred and I think that said twenty-five, but I could be wrong. It pops up so fast and then it disappears. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so now I don't know where I'm heading or why I'm heading that way. But I actually need to go up here. So I think because of how far it is, I'm going to do this. 
I'm gonna fast travel because it won't it shouldn't take too terribly long so let's see and then we will shoot over there find what we need to find and then shoot back well I don't think we can because I don't think there's a fast travel near the lady that we gotta talk to but Ooh, excuse me. We can make our way over there, nonetheless. Yup, yup. Okay. Look at that. We finished a whole blue mission. It only took a little bit on episode-wise, but... And we're about to really start on this one. Because the other one, when I did officially start this, I just talked to her and started it. I didn't actually, like, look here. A model ship as an offering to Poseidon. Clearly someone feared death in the sea. Here lies my brother. A brave man. He was chosen to confront the enemy threatening our village. But his ship sank and sharks feasted on his flesh. What little parts were found, I sealed in this tomb. Sharks are under the command of Poseidon, as are all creatures of the sea. Is he the more dangerous god? Mm. Here lies my father, a simple farmer. A lion tore him to pieces as he brought in his grain. May the gods grant him peace. A golden plate marked with the sun. An offering dedicated to Apollo and his youthful strength. Lions are a golden beast with manes like the sun. Surely they are the favorite of Apollo. Does that make him the more dangerous god? Hmm. Protect us from teeth that tear and beasts that bite. Sounds like a child's prayer. You! I know who you are. Athena sent you to kill me. Why would you think that? I was to be tried for murder, but a great fire burned up the courts and all the records. I walked free, but lately I've heard Athena in my dreams saying I would meet justice. And here you are. An old woman hired me to come here. You weren't part of that contract. But lose your temper and I might change my mind. I know what Athena told me. I'll face my death blade first. <laughs> Gotta get him. I've seen all there is to see here. Now to answer that woman's riddle. Okay. So now I gotta go all the way back there, and there is not a fast travel, I don't think. Nope. See? No fast travel. I just gotta run down there. I thought so. From previous gaming experience. <laughs> this game. <sighs> ah, okay. So, what is the more dangerous one. Lions are native to specific parts of the world. And we are on land as a regular place for us humans. And we have ways to go about 
the fact that if we are in those areas to be safer in the sea though we are at the mercy of the sea because we are not naturally from the sea we can't breathe in the water we can't basically like so my thought is like but you could go your whole life without going into the sea. Hmm. Thoughts that go on in Mama Bear's head. Thoughts 101 with Mama Bear. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But in all actuality, seriously. You guys should totally comment in the comment section. And let me know what your thoughts are. Based off of like all the information. Did that actually break and go with me? No. I didn't think it did. But yes, definitely let me know what you think. Is it Poseidon or Apollo? I'm pretty sure we're going to have to answer her, if I remember right, and choose one. You spent enough time in the graveyard. What did you find? How did you know I actually went? I have my ways. Is there dirt on my sandals? A look in my eye? It seems to me you're good at figuring people out. Perhaps. But I want to know which god you think is more dangerous, Poseidon or Apollo. Why are you so interested in knowing? Because I have two tasks that require the attention of Amistios. But I can trust the easier task to nearly anybody. I'm going to assign the more dangerous one to you, naturally. With that being said, I'd rather deal with the lions, but... Ah, Athena. She got into that guy's head and that had nothing to do with anything over there. Both of those gods may be dangerous, but I met a man who claimed Athena sent me to kill him. How strange. If she could hear your words, I'm sure the goddess of justice would be amused. Oh no. Athena is the god of justice, so she's not really... Okay, anyways... Dang it, in my logic, the sea, because, oh man, this means I'm going to have to deal with sharks. But anyways, the sea would be more dangerous for me because of the fact that we are not naturally in the sea and we don't have the best, we don't always have ways of working around the fact that we are not technically able to live in the sea without massive like changes there was a man torn to pieces by sharks on his way to confront pirates that sounds like the punishment of poseidon to those who would insult him defending a territory no man can invade with deadly force poseidon would indeed seem to be the greater danger i'm glad you agree you've wisely considered the subject i approve Take this. It's for your judgment. You ask for my judgment, but you seem to be judging me. Am I? Consider this. A man took great risks to take to the sea. Perhaps you could figure out why. His tomb mentioned pirates. Perhaps there's still a danger. I believe you should find his family in Megaris, south of the ruined temple of Apollo. I'll pay them a visit. Devronexo. The sea won't give up its secret so easily. Go meet the dead man's brother in Megaris, south of the ruined temple. Okay. So, I think that is where we're going to stop it. For now. I'm going to come up here. So we have this gorgeous view. Just below us. 
all the beautiful flowers and the trees. Oh, yes. Okay. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mama Bear signing off. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you can get notified when we drop new videos. Also, be sure to take care of one another and keep each other safe. Look out for one another. This world functions so much better when everybody's looking out for one another. And it just it's, it makes the world so much nicer. This is Mama Bear signing off on Rogue Somebody Bear Gaming.